Well, do you trust yourself, the fact that if you would get a lot of money, you would do a lot of good with it as well? A hundred percent without any doubt. Cool. Then you can kind of let go of the idea that it has to come through a certain way or for a certain purpose. Because sometimes we spiritual people block our experience of materialism and therefore the amount of service that we can offer the planet by being sort of vain in our sense of not wanting to be arrogant or not wanting to be selfish or not wanting to be egotistical. So we fear our goodness, our innate goodness, and we basically block the energy and so it cannot fully come to us because we have these ideas about money being bad in some way or being abused in some way or not being able to handle it in some way. Do you believe that you can handle money in alignment with your true being, with your higher self, and for the benefit of all? My experience tells me that I haven't found that. You haven't found that to be true? You haven't found the money the yet to try it The experience of every, just, I've had a, my challenges came through mostly career. Okay. Um, and so I am not in alignment. What, mm -hmm. my beliefs are not in alignment with what I'm experiencing. Well, what are your beliefs about money? And how does that um, relate to self-love? What comes right away is that I have to be part of something that is not good for the world for me to be able to have that. Oh, you think that? It's been my experience. So in order to make money, you have to do something that doesn't feel like it's in alignment with your soul. Correct? Say that again, I missed so something. So in order for, the belief you have is that in order for you to make money, you have to participate in some kind of a program or system or career that is not in highest alignment with your soul. In other words, you're believing that you cannot generate a lot of money if you do what you love to do out of alignment and integrity and love and service. Is that a belief? There's a lot of loss of energy due to that. Yes. Awesome. So can you reframe that and see that by doing what I love, the universe will support me completely, will give me a lot of money, perhaps, if that is relevant for you. Do you, do you want a lot of money or do you want to be and do what you love to do? And it's all there on the board. I just won't jump. You want what? I won't jump into the water. What do you mean? I just keep playing and, and creating and thinking of all the great things I can do and what I can possibly add and contribute, but I won't go in the pool. How do you mean? I won't go in. I, I don't step in. I don't step into what, I don't step into my power. Okay. Why not? I what don't. would happen if you did? What's the, well, that, the most actually frightening Actually, it happened thing? yesterday and it was a, quite a drama uh, scene from a movie and I got my job back, stepped into my power, expressed everything I needed to, and then I didn't want it back. There you go. That's good, no? It's been quite a roller coaster. <laughs> yes, but people pay good money to go on a roller coaster. They would have been really, they would have paid money to see this scene in the maybe, parking lot. I'll tell you. It was... Maybe if you're judged a roller coaster less, you'll be less attracted to it. You'll pay less money to it. You'll get more money in other ways. If you don't use the, would you say that whenever, let's see, have you had the experience more often that when you step into your power, some kind of a drama occurs? Is it always that way or not? No, no. Was this when, a new experience When, for when you? no money is involved and there's just amazing things happening, all kinds of freedom and amazing miracles occur, but it's never related to money. It's never been related to the actual exchange of currency. So can you simply follow your joy? What I just said was wrong because currency is energy and I've got that, but mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what'd you say? But are, you, are you not supported when you follow your joy and you feel powerful? Do things not effortlessly come your way? That has happened. Then why not trust that mechanism? Mm -hmm. If you trust that mechanism, you'll get everything you need. And then you'll feel good because you're in alignment with your purpose and your soul. You're not making concessions on your integrity. And you can drop the idea that when you're walking in integrity that you won't get any cash because that's not true either. But it will be true if you believe it to be true. So if I keep going in other people's pools and I'm not having the experience I want, then I really need to get in my own pool. Correct. And I just need to keep saying that. Yes. <laughs> and then I will. And doing it. And then I'll write you. Stepping into it. <laughs> okay. It will yeah. support you. I promise. It will support you. When you stand fully in your own power, everything supports you. Everything supports you. On all levels. You don't have to worry about these levels. Everything supports you when you do what you want to do, which feels good to do. What is that? What's the next step for you right now? Right now, not right now I'm being loved by this fly. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, just to throw the fear, the question again. What's next for you? What are you going to take action on that excites you? I'm going to move and I'm going to search it out 
and what feels good, and I'm gonna, and then I'm just gonna keep going in that direction. Nice. Can you let go of your concerns about money? Sure. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good. It will support you. You come first, then the means. The end is first. The means always follow the end. It's never been any other way. You need to be in the energy of the end result. And then the means required to support that end result will naturally show up. You cannot work at the means to get to an end result. Then you'll stagnate your flow and the things won't come. Or they'll come very effortful. So you just focus on the end result. Let that sense of purpose inspire you, motivate you, move you, and everything else will flow around you to support you to go in that direction effortlessly. You just need to keep your eye on the ball. Don't worry about the players that are about to tackle you. Keep your eye on the ball. Go for the ball. Everything will support you. Every tackle will miss you, and the grass will support you, the sky will support you, the timing will support you, higher self will support you, the finances will support you. What do you want? Be that. Be that. Be that. When you say, I want, it's, I, don't, it, I feel like want isn't really resonating. I desire to have an experience of full collaboration with my human beings. Cool. I don't care if that's at a bubblegum store. Right. <laughs> I want that feeling of collaboration. Mm -hmm. I've had it before, but it was just a, it. kind Keep of your like eye on a, the ball. Be in that energy and you will attract it effortlessly. And then everything else will also support. It just has always worked that way. You can see it in anyone that is financially abundant. They focus on their goal. Their, their sense of purpose, they're connected to their desire. They're not worried about their circumstance. You need to be beyond the circumstances in order to, for the circumstances to support you. It's like hitting a board in karate. You need to not focus on the board and hit it, or you'll just hit it. You need to focus beyond it a couple of inches and aim for that place. When you do that, the board breaks effortlessly, and there's no obstacles. If you are rooted in the vibration of your desire and true purpose and passion, then there will be no obstacles. There will only be seeming obstacles, which you'll take as invitations and confirmations that you're doing really well and you're accelerating really fast. Otherwise, these wouldn't show up to the magnitude that they do. And so you take them as confirmations of your joy. You, they help you refocus even further your goal. And then, whoop, there you go. Past all the seeming obstacles. And now these obstacles turn into money or whatever else you need in that moment. Connections, perhaps, or other resources or opportunities or do you feel that your question is answered? You and I'm taking the fly me. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.